the Miami Dolphins wanted to add depth to their offensive line and signing former Ravens lineman DJ Fluker seemed like a good idea. Fluker has started 96 of 108 games over his eight-year NFL career. He has played for the Chargers, Giants, Seahawks, and spent last season as a member of the Ravens. His best work came during his first four seasons in the NFL with the Chargers. Drafted 11th overall in the 2013 draft, Fluker hasn't really hit the level of play that was expected. He shifted from right tackle to right guard after two seasons and played guard his entire career since until last season when he moved back to right tackle. The Dolphins are hopeful that he can provide depth. At the time of signing, many believed that he would challenge for a starting job and while that is still possible, it is also entirely possible that he doesn't make the roster at all. Miami has a plethora of young talent on the roster and they added Liam Eikenberg and Larnell Coleman in the draft, then added Robert Jones as an undrafted free agent. The Dolphins typically carry nine linemen into the season and it is rare for them to carry more than ten. Fluker is going to have to compete for one of the few roster spots that could be available. We know that Austin Jackson, Solomon Kindley, Matt Skura, Robert Hunt, and Eichenberg will all take up five of the spots. It is also likely that Michael Dieter comes back for another season as it seems he is being groomed to take over the center job if he can continue to develop. While we have questioned whether Jesse Davis will be back, Davis could be one of Flucker's competition. So will Jermaine Aluemunor who was added last month. If six spots are given to those listed above, Fluker will have to compete with Davis, Aluemunor, Cameron Tom, and rookies Larnell Coleman and Robert Jones for what could be three spots and we can't rule out Adam Pankey finding a way back onto the roster either. Regardless, the idea of Fluker making the roster as a lock isn't as much of a lock as originally thought. His contract comes in at just over $1 million but only $850,000 counts towards the cap and all of that is saved if he is released. Needless to say, there are a lot of questions surrounding the Dolphins' offensive line and training camp is going to separate them and hopefully, Flucker's experience will help trend in the right direction. His contract does work in his favor given the experience but he will still need to compete.